Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yan Nandi from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. Uh, today, I will introduce our work uh, from promise to practice evaluating the private browsing modes of Android browser apps. Uh, this is a joint work of Shandong University and the Qianxin Research Institute and Tsinghua University. Uh, a pri pri private browsing mode commonly found in desktop web browser is de designed to protect user privacy when they are online. It has been widely embarrassed by users for its effectiveness. In recent years, as smartphones have uh, become more prevalent, private browsing has been integrated into mobile browser. Uh, the common promise includes not save a uh, browsing history, not save uh, cookies, uh, not save from information and uh, don't save uh, site data and even not in, not enable third party cookies. Okay, thank you. Uh, however, the implementation of private browsing on mobile platform uh, remains under evaluated. Uh, while PC private browsing is well discussed, its security mechanism don't directly apply into mobile platform due to the uh, threat model difference and the system difference. Uh, uh, what's more, the lack of a uniform standard for mobile private browsing complicates the systematic evaluation and the effectiveness of feature promised by the uh, developers is often untested. Uh, therefore, our work aims to fill the gap of evaluating the effectiveness of mobile private browsing. Uh, to, to evaluate the mobile private browsing, we first build a threat model, uh, the local adversary and a web adversary. Uh, a local adversary can physically assess a user mobile phone. We consider this a powerful adversary from the perspective of uh, digital forensics. A, lo a local adversary can get the root privilege through popular tools. Uh, then they can build the data generated by all apps. The local adversary aims to uncover the user activities uh, during private browsing. A uh, web adversary can control websites that the user visit. The adversary can view all network traffic uh, between the user and the website. The target of the web, the web adversary is to link a user in private mode to the same, same user in the normal mode. Uh, based on the above two threat model, we propose six rules to systematically evaluate the uh, browser effectiveness. Uh, for local adversary, we propose row one to row four, and for web adversary, we propose row five and row six. Uh, to be specific, uh, row one don't save browsing history, row two don't save cookies, row three don't uh, save the web cache, and row four don't save forms. Uh, for what web adversary, uh, row Row 5 blocks third party cookies and row 6 don't share cookies in different modes. Uh, in particular, our proposed rules are based on the private browsing feature of PC uh, browser discussed in previous research uh, and uh, also some cap capabilities promised by the mobile app developers. Uh, in this work, uh, we propose an uh, automate uh, framework to uh, to evaluate the mobile browsing apps in large scale. Uh, uh, in at a high level, Broadroy treats the private browsing uh, as a black box, and uh, it checks the its effectiveness through additional uh, data analysis. Uh, for example, if you want to verify that a browser's private browsing mode uh, save cookies, you need to visit the same website twice. In the first private browsing, uh, you log into the target website, and the target website returns a cookie to the browser. Uh, then end the first private browsing. In the second private browsing, uh, let, let the browser visit the same target website. Uh, when, 
we need to check whether the same cookie is carried in the network traffic. Uh, if the cookie is found, uh, then it, it proves that the browser private browsing mode saved the cookies. In other words, it violates the corresponding rules. Uh, similarly, we design corresponding detection for the six predefined rules. Uh, Specifically, Bordrow takes a uh, browser app as input and outputs a report of uh, detection results of corresponding uh, predefined rules. Uh, the detection framework uh, mainly consists of four parts uh, environment preparation, browsing automation, and network traffic analysis and uh, local storage analysis. Uh, the biggest challenge in implementing an automated framework is browsing automation. Uh, as the layout of different uh, mobile apps uh, varies widely from browser to browser. So to successfully visit test website in private mode uh, automatically, we need to position the UI components of the uh, browser to accomplish this, to, uh, at least to task, launch the private browsing and assess the target websites. However, the UI layouts of the, uh, the browser apps are diverse, so uh, we, we, we propose a heuristic solution to uh, to automate this process. Uh, in, in the end, we defined four key observer, uh, operation to get the browser to visit the target website. Uh, through these four operations, all the test modes of the six predefined rules can be realized. Uh, the network traffic analysis uh, Broadroad caches the network traffic throughout the normal browsing and the private browsing uh, using the TCP dump. Uh, traffic packets, host source IP, and uh, des destination IP are related to our test websites of our focus and, uh, analysis, uh, and uh, analysis. It's used to validate the rule 2 and rule 5 and rule 6. Uh, in local storage, uh, broad analysis the store files relate to the browser after completing the normal and the private browsing. Uh, to confirm the private data storage status, it's used to uh, validate the row 1 to row 5. Now let me introduce the uh, experimental settings. Due to, uh, due to there are no standard of broad, uh, mobile browser data sets, we crawled a mobile browser from Google Play. Uh, we, we have collected browser downloads more than 5 million times, which is, which is 49 mobile apps. Uh, Pixels work on lives in image search engines focuses on narrow categories of ways, such as occupation terms and neutral objectives. Oh, sorry. Mm. A week, we have collected browser downloads more than five mil million times, results in uh, forty nine browser apps, uh, which cover nearly ninety eight percent of the total Android browser market share. Uh, the test bed is a Pixel three A with uh, the operating with the OS is Android twelve and the root privilege. Uh, finally, Broadrow successfully evaluated 49 browser apps. Resu the results show that 26 uh, browser violates at least one detection rule, more than half of the data set. It suggests that the mobile private browsing is not as reliable as we might think. The cause of these problems are various. Uh, on the other hand, developers need more uh, systematic consensus on the mobile private browsing. Uh, although the, the same question has been well discussed on PC platform. Uh, on the other hand, uh, even though some developers pay attention to enhance uh, private browsing by many solutions, they may, they may ignore testing their products or private browsing effectiveness. Uh, besides, we, we, we have discovered that 
uh, 58 violations from 26 brothers, respectively. Uh, in this brother, we found uh, 86 capacities that the brother promised. Uh, but surprisingly, some of the 58 violations come from the promised uh, capabilities. Uh, to contribute to the community, we report our discovered the issue to the corresponding developers, and the four of them acknowledge our findings. Uh, to sum up, our work further uh, explores the field of mobile pri private browsing. Here we list the main contribution of the paper. Uh, we systematically studied the uh, the implementation of private browsing on the Android platform, and we design an uh, automated analysis to Broadroid, and uh, we we conduct a large scale uh, real world measurement. Okay.